It's the Daily Talk Show, episode 732. What's happening, guys? What's going on? Happy Sunday. How are you all feeling? Fired up? Right. Uh, beautiful weather Pumped. in Melbourne. Good. A little bit chilly, but uh, blue skies, like yesterday. We're, we're, it? We're, at tw- Sunny. we're at 12, nice. 12 o'clock on the dot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Has um, any caffeine withdrawals yet, JJ? No, all good. Uh, what good. Have I had any form of caffeine? No, I haven't. No, I'm, I'm just drinking my... Uh, Soda stream, my fizzy water, feeling good. Oh, I haven't right. even got tea because as the tea guy, I still couldn't uh, work out to go and get tea before I started. So I had oh, one yeah. <laughs> on the Friday, which was a uh, green rose, which was nice. Uh, but I feel like I don't want it to be that florally. I don't want to be drinking sort of floral drinks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Leaves, Not too fancy. Yeah, I like to get fancy before bedtime. Just something mm. a bit sweet. You know, something feels a bit naughty. Tea can feel a bit naughty, mm. even though it's not. So, uh, yeah. What have you um, been up to? What's happening? Oh, mate, I'm just pumped. The, another put it in the calendar. Okay, Put great. it in the calendar. June 1, George and I will be at the pub because they're planning to open the pubs <laughs> and restaurants from June 1, 2020. This is some great news. Great news from Daniel Andrews. Uh, maximum 20 patrons. It would be good. Uh, table service only. But get this, you have to leave your... Like when you go in, you have to leave your name that you were there. Like they have record of who was at the pub. Mm. Mm. Isn't that bizarre? Like it's name for contact address. tracing. Name, address, contact number, everything. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that full on? No more pun- I mean, if you- punch-ons. <laughs> yeah. Well, a little bit more sort of um, obvious who who's done it. Well, yeah, it makes you think a bit more. Before you start punching people in the pub, but I mean, you mm. shouldn't be punching people in the pub anyway. So June but, one, um, so that means because I didn't realise, but I was seeing on the news that like Sydney are out and about at the moment. They're like going out and going to cafes and shit. Yeah, because the I, I I'm not sure what they're doing out there, but the um the decision, the final decisions from the person running the state, and so mm. the premier, old mate, old mate premier Daniel Andrews, he's been mm. pretty tough. Mm-hmm. And so June, well, it's like two and a bit weeks away. But uh, George, what do you got planned for Monday night, Monday Arvo, June 1? You got anything in the calendar? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in the calendar so far, Tommy. So, we, yeah, I'm keeping it here. W- yeah, great, great, great. Uh, I actually wasn't inviting you. I was just seeing if you were going to go to the pub. But anyway, uh, no, I love you, George. I wonder, though, if we would have to walk around, like, because there's 20, there's a rule of 20. Do you think you'd have to just, we might be legging it for 10Ks just, Sussing every pub yeah. in Abbotsford, every mm. pub in Collingwood, trying to find one that is open. But also, it's like, uh, isn't there's the reality of it that it's um, the coronavirus hasn't magically gone away. So if we all yeah. do this, like, um, I mean, if we learnt anything, we we decided to go and start working from home before they. Th- there were still people going to concerts. You could still go to an event of five hundred plus people. So I don't know whether. Yeah. My my gauge, I don't like leaving the house anyway, but my gauge is like just because they say we can do it um, doesn't yeah. mean that we should be going out all the time. Yeah, I mean, I looked at, you just jump into the comments of that post that I, I just showed a post for everyone playing at home, listening. I just showed a post that sort of was posted on Daniel Andrews' wall about this and in the comments it's, it's exactly that, Josh. There's a bunch of people saying just because we can doesn't mean we have to and so... Mm-hmm. But I think there's. I think the reality is that there's a bunch of people with that thinking, and they will stay home. And then, the whole point of the twenty people, and it's like, dude, there are some part bars that won't be able to open. They don't have enough room to yeah. have. They'll have five people in there, and it's not worth their time. Like it's per four meters, one person, and all these other rules. Like if you could only have, if you could only have one thing, say with everything that's shutting down at the moment, if you had to pick whether it was go and um, sit down at a cafe for breakfast yep. or go to a pub or being able to go to the gym, which one would you be picking? Um, oh, I mean, I think the the best is the gyms. Not to say that mm-hmm. that's a... Gyms are probably closer than the pub. You're sweating, panting, you know, touching But just as shit, in like experience rot, stuff that you yeah, actually just want to do. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I don't have a gym membership at the moment, but I was going to get one just before, so I'm glad I didn't because I would have had to put it on hold because um, I wouldn't be paying it. But th- yeah, so I'd like to go to the gym. I'd like to 
be able to get a routine back in mm. place. I think a lot of people want the gyms open, but a lot yeah. of people want the pubs open, I guess. George I wonder, fits in the is pub category. Uh, what were you saying? We, did you ask GB? No, he's, he fits in the pub category. Yeah. It's pretty uh, It's obvious. Well, do you think that maybe, I feel like one thing that would be good, maybe I'm um, being a dictator, but maybe <laughs> people should pick one thing. So it's like what, what I feel like would potentially happen is it's like the Gronks who will go out day one of an evening and really take advantage might also be the Gronks that go to the gym and that will go like do everything right like what yeah. what about the idea of we all get to pick the one thing that you do because otherwise mm. you're going to get super spreaders right like if, if there's people going out and they're literally doing everything they're going to fucking supre is supre still around i don't know like going to the I shops know. buying stuff at the shops and yeah. then going to the gym and then going to a pub like people will probably yeah. go out more than what they did prior to the lockdowns yeah, I think there are still a yeah, bunch definitely. of people that are scared. But yeah, you're. I mean, the asymptomatic people that have it don't feel anything, don't know they have it, mm. and are spreading it like wildfire. Like it, that is the reality. But I think I, yeah, I was I was very much like shut it down, close it off, and for a long time. But it's so like the cases here in Australia are so low comparatively from around the world. It is done. We've done really well here. Mm-hmm. And it has to open back up. The economy is going to absolutely fucking shit itself. And now they're they're just a bit more equipped. And so there's no other option, I don't think, that other than starting to slowly open it up and people getting this and understanding who are the asymptomatic. Like, how do you find these people that are asymptomatic? It's going to have to, you know, they're going to have to f- have encounters with people. Sorry. He's saying, Brody's yelling that there's a grasshopper looking at me. Okay. <laughs> praying man. Oh, he's found a praying mantis. Oh, mate, be careful. Be careful. But yeah, so we're going to have to find these people and unfortunately it's probably going to have to come from people understanding where the spread is and who's got it. Mm-hmm. And so, mm. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, stay home, Josh. It's fine. It's uh, There will be a bunch of people that I oh, think it's a, it is a r- okay thing to do. It's not like you have to. Mm. You don't, yeah. I mean, mm. I'm, ca- yeah, I, I I feel okay to have a beer with George. George, do you feel okay yeah, to have a beer be with nice. me? Yeah, I think. I mean, I think we'd be sensible. Like, I don't, definitely That's not keen to go in, out you know, into a packed pub anytime soon. Or we'll a meetup. It sounded like tram. you were you yeah. were sort of announcing push, push a meetup. Meet yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're taking no. Friday night drinks off Zoom and into real life. Uh, yeah, straight away. And there, straight away, I booked out a pub. There's going to be 20 people and we've moved it to a Monday and it happens to fall on June 1st. So, who's with me? I mean, you're, not, you're really not necessarily... the. I mean, you've gone many, many months without being at a pub, haven't you, previously? Or is, the last have you pub been, I was at with, with we George, George, we were drinking beers every Friday Arvo or roundabout. We started doing that. Yeah. We did a few beers. and So, like, I reckon if there was... Nothing, you know, Corona, we would have kept going. Rory even joined the last one. It was quite fun. Yeah. But, um, no, I don't know. It's uh, just more appreciative for the shit. So when the gym does open, give it a real good crack, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. Theatres as well. I miss theatres. Do oh, you, yeah, big like boy? Oh, you, the you like a good... Yeah. Yeah. Well, the you're arts. talking shows, right? Yeah, like, yeah, live shows, comedy or... Are you sure? Musicals, I reckon, you know, that's the sort of stuff that I'm pumped to get back into. Yeah. Kind what about Sevs? Really I mean, it. would it be Sevs for you? Was it the gym? Is that the one that you would go to? Yeah. But even then, like, I'm, I don't know how long it's going to take. Like, I'm pretty hesitant to go back to the gym at the moment. Even, yeah. like, I don't know, give it maybe two, another two and a bit months or something like that, and then I'd probably <laughs> be happy going back. Yeah. But if they and opened so, it in the next, like, month... Definitely not. Going you wouldn't and go. so, how much of it is? That's nah, so grotty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Previous to the coronavirus, but even like saunas and shit, like not not ideal. Like if you're packing like sixteen people into a sauna, yeah. like that's not ideal. I mean, you 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 you're the sauna guy telling the guys who don't go to the sauna that saunas are yeah. gross. <laughs> yeah, they confusing. are. No, they are. You've yeah. had a change of heart. They're great, but they're gr- no, they're great, but they're gross. You just <laughs> got to cop it. Gross. I feel There's like this is you gross. communicating. I feel like 
you've been priming for the past two months to get your own sauna. I feel like this is getting yeah. closer and closer to reality. How far JJ, off? JJ, if there's someone who knows how to justify a purchase, it's you. And so you're spotting it. It's perfect. That you, I, I trust in JJ to know when Sevs is priming for a purchase. Are you priming for a purchase? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> well, the, I, yeah it's like, it's, dude, I, I hope you get it. Because it it's one bit bizarre but and quirky, which is what I love about it. Like... The dude, I know a bunch of people have them, and Conspiracy Jimmy. How was do you? What? How do you buy showing, them? Showing me is it ones like you a, get. Well, the thing is, like it's a wooden, easy, like cupping house easy kind of thing. An, yeah, literally, it's pretty easy to get like a infrared one because mm. you can just plug it into the normal power. But when you're getting like the um the ones with like coals and heating elements and stuff, it has to be wired into the the circuit. So you got to get an electrician around to wire it in. Ah, uh, so yeah, it's like a, that's it's that's like my a pushback. Spa. I can. It's like runs yeah, on a I've different, got it like, different power. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can. F- I know the one that I want to buy, but how it's much just, is it? I, uh, it's about two and a bit grand. I mean, it's not crazy. I mean, like two and a half grand is nothing. How much is like the service? It's what's the like servicing of? Oh, so not servicing, but like what's the um, setup cost? Like you're gonna have to get some sort of well, electricians probably. Yeah, yeah electrician. I have no idea to be honest because I don't know what the deal is maybe? with wiring it in. But yeah, pro- I would I would reckon mm-hmm. hopefully under a grand to install it. Sure. Yeah. yeah I reckon. Then, I mean, my bro's an electrician. We could find out he's nearly fully qualified, so he'd be able to do it himself. Um, can you tell me the name of the sauna and where, like, where you'd get uh, it from? What's the name? I just want to have a quick look at it's, it. It's um. Hang on, I got I got to look it up again. I had it bookmarked a while ago, but I got rid of it. Uh, just oh, that's when a dream <laughs> is being crushed when you've taken it out of your bookmarks. Literally, yeah. I did a bookmark How call actually it? just recently. Got rid of a bunch. Nothing that important though. Oh yeah. No saunas in there. <laughs> Luxo Living. Here we go. Luxo What's it called? Li- Luxo, of course. Luxo, 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 Luxo Living. living. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's. Uh, do you want me to slack it to you, or just want me to read it out? Read just it out. yeah, read it out. So it's a. It's okay. uh, two two thousand six hundred and sixty bucks. Six person traditional Finnish steam sauna. Uh. And it's it's literally it's literally a cubby house, so it's just all made of wood. And, and I'm guessing it's flat pack, um, and you just you just plonk it in your garage or something like that. This and, is um, great. I found what sort of temperatures does it get to? JJ, can you that's, see it there? Yeah, yeah. That, oh yeah, great. That's that's what that's what it'll look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Little Sam's <sense. laughs> wrong way. So yeah, that's um, that's the one that I'm looking at at the moment. I mean. Power play, Grace rocks up. Yeah, babe, I've got a sauna. Check it. Garage. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm at my New parents' New bed, blind, but... sauna. Just yeah, <laughs> all of it, you know. Uh, <laughs> Connect it straight onto your room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. On the I side. Actually, your side door goes into it. It won't be it. tall. Yeah, it won't, it won't be tall enough, but I do have like a little... Um, oh, hang on. I do have like a little um, under the house bit right next to in my bedroom and it's like a door that you can open to get under but I don't think it's going to be tall enough and what's the temperature like what what temp are you getting it to uh it goes to 80 degrees okay it's not too hot like I've been like slamming like the shower when I go in the shower I'm putting it like extremely hot because of this cold weather and we have like the windows open what do you reckon it it won't be Oh, Maybe I reckon 70? like um, 60. 38 or 40, 42, <laughs> no, maybe. Uh, real hot. No, no, no. I think nah, right. real hot. Yeah. The it's, thing is, it's you more can, just your you skin will burn, make Josh. The difference, you can be in 100 it. degrees, but it's yeah, you don't but want to, not submerged. You have to be like the dry yeah. heat. That's no, why definitely. they were saying you like a, a steam room can't be at the heat of a dry room because you would literally cook yeah. because of the moisture. Yeah. It's too much. Um I saw a video on you, uh, Facebook. A guy got caught, uh, stuck in one, like he had it at home, and he got stuck in it for 12 oh, no. hours. 12 fucking a sauna. hours. A sauna. No, it's you would time. die. Yeah. I mean, it's like... How, how, how do you manage that? You'd punch a hole in it, surely. Oh, he was You'd trying to. down or something. And they, and they just, the they, sh- they showed different, because there was a camera in there. I don't know, maybe, may have oh, been no. fucked. Why is there a camera in the sauna and why does a That's sauna a lock? Because saunas are pretty much, 
like this. Sauna's is, car. I've never seen a lock a on a mm-hmm. sauna door, right? Have you ever seen a lock mm. on a sauna door? For this reason? No, nah, no, nah, I haven't it's seen. It's a I've nightmare. Never seen one. Nightmare. What would you do? You'd just lie down at the bottom, wouldn't you? Like, Why? In the, yeah. like, because the heat rises and so it's it is coldest, cooler. Yeah. So there's two levels. Usually, usually under like the door. Yeah, yeah, under the door, there's like a little gap as well that some air can come in. But just be sucking at it. <laughs> yeah, you'd yeah you'd you'd definitely be on the floor. J- JJ, would you chuck in five hundred? And uh, I'd be happy for it to come from the business for Sevs to get his sauna because. <laughs> well, I'm just you've worried never, that we haven't never used the one. fireplace enough yet. You were you promised a lot <laughs> of fireplace had... content. Oh, we've Are you, we've already fireplace? got two episodes out of that. It was an eighty buck purchase. We're talking five hundred dollars. Five hundred. And so the fun. point being is, you've never been in a sauna, and so you, it was one of the firsts that we wanted you to do. You spoke with Ash Williams about it. That was when um, you broke down the friendship between Ash and the Daily Talk Show, where you nearly uh, pulled him apart on the show for forty minutes. Um, and we were working out what he could do for the first time in twenty twenty, and yours was do a sauna, a sauna for the first time. So, what do you reckon? Yeah, maybe. I mean, we just had the meeting with the accountant. I don't know, like, the 500 bucks <laughs> on the sauna. Like, you're, I'm normally the loose guy, and I know I just bought a megaphone. The megaphone's paying for itself. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like maybe we can... Um, maybe you could set up a Casey GoFundMe says, can we do something. a GoFundMe? Yeah. Yeah, I think we could do that. You could do, go fund me for Sebs's sauna. Yeah. <laughs> Would you let? What would the rules of the sauna be, Mister Ninety Seven? Um, as in for for people who fund it. Well, so this is the problem. You are don't we, want you don't want to be about like, fucking communal. The reason you want to get your own sauna is so that you don't have to have gronks in there, right? Random gronks. I'm talking about random gronks, close, yeah, yeah. the close ones like us. Like that's what I'm trying to work out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be? No, you can cut. You can you can absolutely come over and use it. Absolutely. How, would how I often? As a, I as a kid who grew up with a, a pool, I know how this sort of stuff goes. People <laughs> rock up with towels and expect to just jump in. I feel <laughs> so like they could. Bizarre, isn't it? I feel like. <laughs> Maybe this investment. I would. I'm also cautious of this five hundred dollar investment, giving TJ some ownership over it. Where all of it, because I don't think I would go there that often. To be honest, the only no, reason I mentioned the five hundred bucks, I was going to say, come from your pocket, so you could use a sauna for the first time. What's that expensive to do sauna? <laughs> expensive sauna. But um, Amy, Amos. Okay. Somehow Bodie's worked out how to t- turn on the mini speaker. With Spider Man, uh-huh. oh really? <laughs> Animal. So yeah, if there were the so, Sev, you would yeah, have was, sort of so a, you could use an open, open restriction. Yeah, yeah. Open well, door so policy. we'd have time. You'd, yeah, but there's there there'd have to be restrictions. So you wouldn't you wouldn't be allowed to come after say like, mm, I don't know, like eight, uh, maybe eight o'clock's too late. <laughs> but like, yeah, just. I'm just, I'm just trying to work it out between like, you know, you're at work for until like, I don't know, say six or whatever. And then you've got between six and eight o'clock. You've got that time period. But then it's also the thing of like, how do you get into it? Like, because the garage, you like it's in the garage. And you don't to, own the property like your mum and dad, like how are they going to feel about, you know, you're going to have to ask random them. People can, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, does yeah, mum and dad want good. one? Mum wants, mum would use it. Mm-hmm. Dad... He's not too keen on them. Really? Why? Is You've got a pool as well, though, don't you? I think you? he's. I got yeah, but it's empty. So <laughs> maybe put your sauna <laughs> in the pool. <laughs> sauna in the pool. Yeah, not a bad idea. Actually, it does collect water, so that's probably not good. Uh, absolutely but, not. Yeah, da- yeah. No, Dad's not super. He just doesn't like the feeling of them. Mm. Whereas Mum, Mum enjoys it. So Mum would. And be, so this- I don't think Dad would. Dad wouldn't stop me. He'd be like, "Yeah, great. Like, I'm not going to pay. For, I'm not going to pay for anything." But you can put it in there if you want it. Hard what about the electricity? This, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard one to work out the, what what the electricity costs for it. To be honest, because we were trying to work yeah. it out. Well, with if our Mum's spa. using it, it can just go on the um, <laughs> just go on the family. So you just so problem. you're going to trick your mum to use it so she covers the cost. Surely it would use heaps. Absolutely, Surely that would just like a dryer. Yeah, if heating like in a house is a problem. On getting something to eighty degrees. Or whatever yeah. it is, no, it's probably, I reckon it's probably. I reckon it's. I reckon it's okay. It, it's probably like, 
You're on, you're not. It's on. It's not on twenty four seven. Like it'd just be on. For, it takes like ninety minutes to heat up or whatever, and then you're in it for say an hour. So, would you b- allow your dog Abby? Would you think dogs would like saunas? Oh. No, no, it's probably cruel. not. No, uh-huh. definitely not. <laughs> it's probably alright for them. Like it's probably it, it's probably beneficial in terms of health stuff. But I, that's what I mean. I feel like you're the type of guy to read an article and then accidentally kill your dog by putting her in the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if it extends her lifespan like it does mm-hmm. with people, then it's not a bad idea. I tell you who I reckon would get around <laughs> Sevs's sauna, our hot accountant. I reckon yeah, he'd, uh, he'd be coming over. Jace would be popping in just quick on the <laughs> way home, head over to Baldwin, quick sauna, then uh, off you go. It could be good sauna cam. Sevs, <laughs> Sevs does the show from the sauna from sauna cam. here on in. Getting a, getting a GoPro. Um, on the <laughs> megaphone, uh, we said we yeah. said yesterday that uh, we were pausing all transactions of the megaphone because it was getting out of hand. Do you remember that? We can't actually pa- we can't actually pause them. Well, no, Josh, you did say it, and it was a good idea because it was you know they were coming through thick and fast, and and we needed to have some kind of formalised spreadsheet to be able to track <laughs> who sent money, all of that. And so, where are we landing today, JJ? Because it is. Well, what are you laughing Sunday? at with George Sebs? What did I miss? No, just George was just laughing at thick and fast. <laughs> <laughs> thick. Look. T-H-I-C-C-C. Because it wasn't thick. thick and fast? Is that the funny? I don't know. Uh, it's probably best not to always okay, ask why funny. people are laughing. Just let yeah. it play out. <laughs> it's, all right. It's all good. And so the, so the other issue... So, so what's happened is we have had a new megaphone sponsor who has given us by far the most amount of cash so far when it comes to naming right sponsorship. Not the video $500 amount no. where you get a video thrown in, mm-hmm. thanks to me. But this is still unbelievable. This is the highest amount contributed to become a megaphone mm-hmm. naming right sponsor. But the thing is, um, I brought up that on. F- I don't want anyone to be upset around how we're doing it. You know, I've got the sensitivities of what, you know, uh, stressing people out and we did get a few people on paypal who donated amounts uh that was below the 50 dollars. now yeah. tj initially in our pre-show chat you said no the terms were that you they do not get a read in the megaphone it was only after george did his ad that anyone over five dollars uh, gets a mention over the megaphone. What is your interpretation? Yeah, it, well, a bunch of people already got shout out. So when we first came up with this idea, and if you are new to the podcast, uh, Josh bought a um, megaphone that was it's probably about not seventy worth something bucks. To be if you, you knew the podcast, seventy five bucks, seventy five bucks, and and do you want me to fucking reset this or not? No, no, I like didn't. It makes total sense. Sense. Um, Far it out. makes total sense because uh, on the day we didn't the, um, on the we spent seventy something bucks in total. Are you on su- the day, so it's like 30, 30 bucks in um batteries. Oh, that's fair. On batteries are expensive. On the day we just you said we need to pay for this thing. Maybe people could send us money on PayPal, and then all of a sudden, I mean, asking you shall receive. People started sending money to hi at the daily talk show dot com. <laughs> which is our PayPal, send money, and they were coming through. And then it got to the point where Rory sent through 50, and then we thought, yeah, well, that's the naming right mm-hmm. uh, of the megaphone, and then it started the flow on. And so everyone did get a mention, Gemma, you can mention the names, Gemma, K- I think it was Casey, a few others, yeah. and then... Caitlin. And so, did I ever, the, so I mentioned them all over the, over yeah, the megaphone? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you did, or you're just mentioning. Maybe the just, maybe just, maybe we could do it just to be safe. I think well, that's well, what this I is the new nice. rule. New rule. It's I fine. Think it's, yeah. I feel like we just want to clean up our PayPal debts and make sure everyone's happy. All right. Yeah. No, um, I get absolutely. that. And so, so what I'll do is I'll announce the new megaphone sponsor, um, and then I'll say thank you to the previous people who gave us PayPal money, and then this is the last time we speak about them. Unless there was another <laughs> over five dollar transaction. Transaction, yeah, sure. Yeah. Is that right, right. GB? <laughs> yeah, that, that actually makes sense. So, yeah. So then, if someone donates five dollars now, they can get a mention on tomorrow's show. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? Love yep. it. Yeah. Love it. 
The only thing is I think that we need to get better at uh, giving the, the the naming rights sponsor something more. Like I feel like we need mm. to, um, whether it's the tone of my voice or the amount of times that I do it, but I feel like there needs to be a way to really... Um, oh. Yes. What about this? What if you intro the show on the megaphone? Yeah, we could do I that. Mean, that becomes that becomes a complete uh, yeah. podcast naming right to the show. It is <laughs> I mean that is pretty good. It's that's a good deal. That's got to be worth more than 50 bucks. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what's dude. Well, what's Jess, going up quickly? It's only 50 Jess, now. It's going up I, quickly. JJ, you missed it Friday night drinks I ha- um Jess uh, who looks after brands and partnerships for the Daily Talk Show. I had to break it to her in front of everyone what we were doing with the megaphone. And um, oh, no. and she was, I think, oof, oof, mm. I think it was about the the offering and how good it is. So uh-huh. we need to sort of get these through before she yeah. leaves us. To yeah, be honest, yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get in early. This, you know, you get the um, yeah, you get yeah. the benefits. Okay, all right. So I nearly used the megaphone last night. By the way, I heard some yelling outside. Oh, you oh, should. My please. heart started to rate, uh, race. Can you I please? Like, oh. Megaphone sponsor, you yell it out, you yell out <laughs> the name of the sponsor and then, can you please go? Well, I had a moment of, do you think I would get in trouble? So say like a minor incident. So say um, uh, people arguing outside due to a incident between a car and a pedestrian, you know, some sort of yelling match. If I was, yeah. to, and it was say after 11 p.m., if I was to use the megaphone <laughs> siren and tell them to stop, do you think that the police would be impressed or disappointed in me? I reckon they would be uh, disappointed. I don't know. Was it you that mm. told me the story about the megaphone in the car? Yeah. So, yeah. So there was. Um, I saw a prank uh, YouTube channel that um, got uh, done for impersonating police because they had a megaphone in their car and they were doing the siren. If you do yeah. sirens outside mm. cars, it sort of implies that you're emergency services. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as good as I got it, you, you know the flash from the top of a camera that you can sort mm-hmm. of just trigger off trigger off automatically. I used to get down in my street behind, car, behind my parents' car and as a car drove past, I would flash it. So it's that big that on TikTok at the moment. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what they're all doing. To pretend people are getting tickets. Mm, Yeah. Ah. And they film it and they laugh because they just like people slam on their brakes. Which is funny because at that point you've already been gotten. So it's... Oh, but but you do. It it is the thing and your heart sinks and I'm just like, Mm -hmm. oh, it is the worst feeling. Anyway, sorry. Mm -hmm. I digress. Anyway, so let's um, let's introduce... Cleaning the the slate. Yep. Cleaning the slate. Here we go. The new sponsor for the daily talk show, Megaphone, is Kate Mead. Check Kate Mead out on Instagram. Check out her podcast, the Women of Influence podcast. And she also is the co-host at Ace Radio's morning breakfast show, The Morning Rush. Thank you, Kate Mead. And you are the official sponsor at $120.00. Now, with a little bit of admin, I would also like to thank Friday's donations. Casey Irwin of $5. (laughs) Not of $5, but she donated $5. I feel like I'm part of the kids' hospital. You know, they do the readout and they say of, you know, of Endeavour Hills. Uh, Caitlin Williams for $20. Thank you, Caitlin. And Gemma Watts for $10 from Baldwin North. Thank you so much. Uh, for your support. Thank you. Love it. Well done. 471 was the episode that Kate Mead was on the Daily Talk Show. Just type in Kate Mead, the Daily Talk Show, into Google and you we can listen to her episode. Yeah. And it was good um, fun. Kate loves... Uh, the thing about Kate, she appreciates a hustle. Yep. She is one of the greatest hustlers. Uh, mm. She yeah, She was telling us the stories about just on the podcast episode about 
how she got a you know a big dance festival off the ground and the mm-hmm. sort of strings she pulled and the great things she did and so that's why getting I, into radio as well with yeah. all the balloons that was oh great. that's right oh, yeah she's yeah. see this is creative I believe Loves creative five idea. penguins died for that but <laughs> 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 but um, you know you do what you got to do yeah, <laughs> yeah to get on that radio <laughs> absolutely yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> the um, no it's good. So I wonder, I mean, Kate has it until someone knocks her off. Mm-hmm. So mm. unless someone pays 120, what is it, 25, George? You, that's the next, if, yep. it, five, if yep. you want. Five bucks. Up five dollars yep. increments. Great. And so we're, we are jumping, putting a pause. Heaps, don't do it now be because crazy. we want to ha- set up the website because what I don't want to happen is we have three people all s- give us 100, 125 bucks and then we're in a pickle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'd be annoying. <laughs> and so we're, we're going to set up just, that site. Just on the website stuff, yeah, I was about to say um, either late later today or tomorrow it'll be done. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Oh. And so it'll be Is forward that... slash megaphone? Love yep. that. Okay. Love that. All right, good. Megaphone. I'm, I'm excited to see this. Any um, teasers, Sevs? What, what are we thinking? What's the layout? Uh, just sort of like leader leaderboard sort of vibes hopefully with a megaphone up the top that plays the latest announcement um and then we can bring in georgie boy's video that explains it all just just sort of a basic sort of landing page Mm -hmm. like a real sales funnel should we get some sort of sales real sales funnel yeah 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 yeah. just like like we got a hubspot all over it yeah (laughs) what about a button like a, a button donate now yeah, Donate definitely. a PayPal button. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah, we can make it all. Happen. Um, can we use the photo of me with my top off and you with your top off and you holding the megaphone over my mouth as the uh, as the same megaphone? Yeah, it's just a real megaphone. thirst trap. Yeah. Clickbait <laughs> thirst trap. Did you see that I? Because I put up that that um, post and I used that thumbnail. What was it's your so first funny. impression? To you? like, I was like, that's fucking amazing. I. <laughs> I didn't remember the shot because I was thinking, what what thumbnail could you use? And I was like, I think I said to you, yeah, just go Sevs with his top off. Yeah, yeah. I thought that could <laughs> get, but I, <laughs> it was it version. was weirder and better, mm. and uh, and two rigs, two um, rigs is better than one. On the one the Instagram thing, uh, <laughs> I've um I've done the cam van tile, and so yeah, if you go to Josh Jansen on Instagram, you'll see the cam van's tile. You'll also see another Monopoly screen grab, which all of a sudden <laughs> I've gotten self conscious based on Georgie Boy's <laughs> yeah, criticism. Right, but did you see that I won? Did you win? Uh, yeah, I yeah. did. You've won yeah. two. Is, have you lost any, or have you just been posting? Uh, uh, lost no, no, I've lost a few, <laughs> but the, no, the last two I've won. I've actually I've worked out the whole thing. Who are you have playing, you JJ? What is it? Well, yesterday we played with Diavella and Nat, and so I yep. mean, playing with a minimalist, it's great for Monopoly because he's you know he's not buying anything. Anti property, <laughs> 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 yeah, real minimal, a lot of cash, <laughs> just yeah, yeah. Cash. Just him and a, he just bought the dog. Or what's yeah. the little dog character? Yeah, well, just the funny little... thing is, they um, I feel like um, I've created a persona within the Monopoly game, unlike the um, uh, so unlike. Not unlike the um, my PT character, you know, like an over exaggerated version of myself, and um, and so Bree tells everyone before you play, like Josh is real mean when it comes to playing, so don't be careful with deals, don't do deals with him. But um, <laughs> no, what what got it was the um, I got the blues on the right side, the uh, Mayfair, and um, oh, I can't remember the other. Way. Park Lane, Park Lane. Yeah. yeah, and Park Lane, uh, yeah. I just filled that with um, houses, and that was sort of and that uh, and that yeah. got you through. Yeah, yeah, really, it was massive. Wow. I paid. Not many people land on them. Yeah, well, I paid. How about this? So um, Mayfair, no, it was Park Lane. You can buy, I think, for four hundred. Mm-hmm. I wanted it. I already had um, Mayfair, and um, so I did a deal with Nat, where she gave me like she gave me Park Lane. I gave her seven hundred dollars, and it was like because I oh offered God. her six hundred, and she's like, oh, "Absolutely not! It's going to have to be higher than that." And I paid seven hundred bucks. I feel like that's a huge deal. I was left with that's less outrageous. than a hundred dollars in you, my bank. You paid du- more than double. No, no, no. It's four hundred, and I it's paid three. 000. I think it's. I actually think it's three hundred. Oh, really? For Park Lane, I think okay, so. Yeah. You. No, you. I think you could be right. Can we get and a, then it's four hundred for Mayfair? <laughs> yep. Do I need to? I'll, I can open the app. I'll open the app. No, well, it will be the same for the. I don't the whole think it thing. will. Okay. Well, yeah. 
No, anyway, so it. yeah, Monopoly is going great. I w- it's really, really fun. Like if anyone's been thinking about um, playing Monopoly, definitely give it Digitally. a crack. Yeah, um, we had to actually upgrade. How long? And, yeah, how long did they go how, for? How long does the game go for? Yeah, uh, I reckon around two and a two and a half hours. And so it was yeah, right. when we it's kicked so on. When we started, it was like yeah, because there's no fucking around with banks and all that. So like it's very quick in that regard. And so yeah. one p.m. Melbourne time was eight p.m. LA time. And so I may have had like a red wine straight after the show <laughs> yesterday at 1 p.m. That's all right. Sort of ate some cheese. So, it was great. I closed the blinds lovely. like it was dark. Put it's the fireplace on in the um, you know. on the TV. Oh, great. <laughs> and it was a lovely day. Like that's the opposite of what yesterday was. It was a lift the blinds up and get outside. Yeah. But no, it, no, it made sense. I, still I've cool, also still. I've got an audio book that I want to recommend. Oh, it's really? awesome. I've already listened to like three hours of it. Um, just yesterday, Bree and I have been listening to it together and she agrees that it's like one of the best we've listened to. It is The Ride of a Lifetime, Lessons in Creative Leadership and it's by Robert Iger who's the CEO of um, Walt Disney com- Company. Ah, Bob. Mm. Yeah. Sounds Bob. good. Exactly. Yeah, it's very, very good. And so he, I haven't kept up to date with everything, but he uh, changed roles in Feb, like sort of mm. stood down as the Disney CEO. So but then with all the board, yeah, I think he was chairman, maybe or so, I don't know what he was, but I think he's like gone back into the role with all the um, coronavirus stuff. But it's very interesting. Like he oh, talks right. about, you know, having to call. Or like he called a family whose kid was killed by an alligator in like one of the resorts. Just shit like like just this all this random shit. Um, Opening the um, Shanghai uh, Disneyland or whatever they call it. Yeah, it's very good. I mean, he's he's done so he's done so. Is Georgie boy meditating? By the way. No, he's definitely just. (laughs) I think he's just. (laughs) He's absolutely lost. Oh, there he is. Okay, Georgie boy, you back. Yeah, <laughs> um, that was. He's a, just, just he's he's done heaps. Like, like they literally acquired like Pixar and um, Lucas Films, which does all the Star Wars, Marvel, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. just a bunch of like maybe like Fox as well. Fox so Entertainment. He he, he was yeah. he was the one leading all the acquisitions and stuff. It's crazy. So he led like he was high up at um, ABC, and then Disney bought ABC. That's crazy because it's like. Yeah, the, this is like early 90s and all that sort of thing and seeing the sort of shit that he, um, you know, the, his whole career and stuff, I just felt like it was very interesting. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Um, did you hear about the guy that, thanks to coronavirus and Disneyland closing, uh, ended his 2,995-day oh. in a row streak going to Disneyland? Oh, and the only so reason <laughs> he stopped, the only reason he stopped is because of coronavirus and them closing oh. it down. That'd be so. Oh, that's like the guy, um, Super Size Me, <laughs> where he um, oh. he uh, he he was having a Big Mac every day. He only ate Big oh, Macs. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. I mean, how annoyed would you be at ninety five? Like two thousand nine hundred ninety five. You'd want it to round out to three grand. Three yeah. k. Oh, so please, please. How annoying. <laughs> Anyway, he said... What if he was uh, paying for it if he was just a member now? Like at that just point, you surely... He just gets free entry, oh, surely. You fucking hope yeah. so. That joint, you've yeah. been, Josh. How Unlimited much season you? pass. 150, 200 bucks each for the day or something? Oh, Disney something World expensive. was so expensive. Yeah, we entered like... No, it was like... I think for... We spent over a thousand bucks on all of all yeah, really? the stuff for that trip. Just for the like... The, there must um, be a pass that you can get, yeah. surely. Yeah, there's the quick... The, Is it worth the, it? Nah, I'm I'm not a big theme park guy. No. Um oh, so he's he's been go the guy from that was going every time it was open. So it was consecutive to the days that Disneyland was open. Mm. Which is still oh, so he can way. still continue his streak. No, nah, he stopped it. It's too long. He said, oh. No, nah, <laughs> it's the end of my streak. Oh really? The streak <laughs> thirteen hundred bucks. The streak's a year been ended, pass, by the way. He's probably paying it. I mean, what are you doing at that point? Unless you've got a YouTube channel where you sort of Monetizing yeah. it. I know people <laughs> that like buy the, um, like who live in the US 
they live not that far from Anaheim and so they'll um, like for Disneyland they'll um, they'll get the year pass they have like the full legit like ears like the real good ones like the high qual that you're probably spending a hundred bucks on God. and they go like you know a few times a year that's sort of their um that's their holidays they go to yeah, yeah, I mean, people do fucking love it. He was getting 20,000 steps in a day when he was going there, yeah, JJ. Wow. I mean, yeah. it's, he just thought, it's been good for me as the gym, he said. It's classic. Oh, I mean, it's just a, that's his park that he walks around. No, I think that's, I mean, yeah, yeah. it would be fun. Like, I mean, good vibe. <laughs> good, good vibe, candy yeah, smell in vibe. the air. Mm. Just, He'd know, be eating like nuts, hot dogs sweet. and dag with dogs. <laughs> Yeah, the, the steps doesn't really make much of a difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's doing t- how many steps did you say? Yeah. Twenty thousand. Yeah, Twenty thousand. But eating he'd be thirty thousand. Yeah, yeah. All right. Ten seconds of admin. Take a screen grab right now of you listening to the show. Post it on Instagram as a story, and we'll regram it. What a deal! Great. One of the best. And any uh, any final best. words? Any any other? Bits ah, and pieces. We'll see you tomorrow. Right. I'm going to go enjoy the sun. Lovely. All right. See you then, oh, guys. So Have a good, good Sunday. See you guys.